I just want the hits, want the, the hits, hits and the, the likes, the likes and the, the subs. This video is brought to you by the good people at Norwich Tech in Connecticut, which explains this shirt. It was part of the summer shirt swap. They're the Warriors. Pictures of their whole crew at the end of this video, but for now, their video. The perimeter of a insert object here. It could be a carpet, a rug, a picture frame, a garden, anything that's really rectangular. All right, all of these problems work the same. The perimeter of a, let's go with rug. I think that's how you spell rug. I picked a simple word because I don't spell real well. So then the perimeter or perimeter is 24 units. It could be any units. Um, uh, feet, inches. I'm just gonna choose G's. Yeah, G's. What up, G? G, -g, 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 -g units. All right, the length is two G's. Longer than the width. We wanna know what are the dimensions. But I should mention that this perimeter formula is not magic. The perimeter, the perimeter. I was watching this YouTube video with this lady and she had an accent. I'm not making fun of accents. The perimeter, I am however accenting that the word perimeter uses the prefix peri, which is the distance around. If we look at the perimeter, that's the distance around. That's what peri starts a word off with. But you could also say that the word rim is in it. And when you think rim, it's around. Also, meter is a distance. So we're looking at the distance around. So I found this example. If we were right here, and we were gonna walk this far. We're walking the perimeter of this rectangle. I would have gone L far. Then I turn around. Ah, and I climb on down. If that side's dub, this side is also dub. So I'd climb down dub units, and then I would put on these boots. And these boots were made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. And I walked this far, then I would walk L far, for sure, for sure. And then I would turn around and I'd climb on back to my starting point, going all the way around my rectangle with a dub far. I guess that would be a dub step. So my next step would be to gather, collect, and combine. 2L plus 2 dub. Oh boy. My point being, that's not a magic formula, and this guy is going to be... Key in our problem. So we know, we know, we know that 2L plus 2 dub, that's going to be our perimeter. So, we need to translate this. Our rug, the perimeter, is going to be 24 units. The length is two feet longer than the width, but do I know what that width is gonna be? No, let's just call it X. Our length, however, is going to be two units bigger than X. So this would be X plus two. So now what do we do? We're gonna take both of these guys, put them in a small purse because this is going to be clutch. Ah! And I'm going to throw them down in here. So this is two times. My length was x plus 2. And I'm going to write that, x plus 2. And now what? I'm going to add to it, whoa, swerve. And then my dub is x. What's next? I'm going to finish him. Yeah, finish him. And it goes, and it goes, and it goes. Ooh, ooh, 2x plus four, sure, plus two x is 24. And then I'm gonna gather, collect, and combine. Gather, collect, and combine. And I find my two x and my two x gonna give me four x plus four, sure. And then that's gonna be equal to 24. Finish him. I subtract the four off each side and four x turns out to be mm, five. No, whoops. Foreshadow, good in literature, not in math. All right, that should have been 20. Why? Because 24 minus four is 20. So then X turns out to be five. And I'm looking for the dimensions of this rug, this fence, this 
garden, this sidewalk, this rectangular region, and I can find that by looking here. Now I know what my dub is. My dub was five, and then my length is gonna be five plus dub. So then that's seven. Oh, did you get the picture? This one's a five by seven. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Rug. It's a magic carpet. I don't know. Check out these guys. So here's the whole crew. Notice they put the quadratic formula on sale. And here we go. This is Melissa, Tammy, Suzanne, Gilda, Deb. This is Kristen. They're in a room named after Pi. Oh, and look down here. Look at that cutie. And the MBF shirt. That's Aaron. Lucky kids.